Okay, so I'm doing a 24-hour EKG. Y'all know I film everything. I think because I'm the only child, <laughs> let's just blame it on it, right? But um, so I have one here, one here, one here. Um, I got one up under the boob. It's just like when they do an EKG at the hospital and one here. So, like, seven years ago, they uh, saw that I had, like, um, a small irregular heartbeat, which the average American does, uh, you know. But if, if it's really small, they don't worry about it. They don't put you on any medicine or anything. But uh, when they found out that I uh, have type 2 diabetes, they put me on a tenanol. And so uh, because I'm on that, I think it causes palpitations more. But um, as long as I don't consume salt, I'm okay. But, you know, salt is in everything. It's in every freaking thing. Like I just went grocery shopping and everything has salt in it. So what I've been doing is I try to find something that has less than 100 milligrams of salt per serving, which is extremely difficult unless you're at Whole Foods. And even when I was at Whole Foods yesterday, you know, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of salt and everything. So uh, I feel pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not in any pain or anything. I don't have chest pains. I have had a situation where I I feel funny due to high blood pressure, but um, I thought that I was already on a strict diet and I was consuming rye bread and I would only eat like one piece of rye bread for uh, breakfast, like a piece of toast. And then maybe uh, in the afternoon, like uh, for dinner or something, I'd make another piece of toast. Okay, well... It's 260 milligrams of salt in rye bread, which is bad. It's bad for somebody who, who has high blood pressure. So um, I went out and uh, I left that alone immediately. <laughs> I left that alone ever since I realized it like four days ago. I just left it alone. So I went out and um, Sara Lee has a bread. It only has, it's multi-grain because I can only eat uh, like whole grain or multi-grain uh, 45 calories uh, per serving and per serving is two slices and um, I think it's 180 milligrams per two slices so I only consume one and um, as long as I continue to do that and keep my blood pressure down we're going to see what they tell me uh, about you know blood pressure and stuff like that but um I don't know like I just I really want to know what they're gonna say about this uh, EKG reading you know but as far as having this uh, 24 hour monitoring thing I decided to make this video because it's a lot of people that have never been through this and when I was walking down a hallway I could have just I was like oh my god I'm so dramatic already but you know being in the hospital just bothers me and because I've been in a hospital with so many people in my family in the past and they've all passed and I just want to take care of myself and do what I'm supposed to do and feel the way that I'm supposed to feel, you know. So as far as my diabetes, I'm doing really good. Um, you know, they want you to take so much medicine per day. I don't take shots or anything like that, but I am on the pill and um Half the time, I don't need that. You know, I really do. I walk. I watch what I eat. And um, I just take care of myself. Even right now. Please excuse me. <laughs> Even right now, I'm just relaxing because I've been up since 7. Going, 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 going. Like grocery shopping. Trying to figure out, you know, things I, that I need done. What I'm going to do about certain other things out here. Been driving. So, I have been driving all day. And um, when the doctor or the nurse put this on me, he was like, make sure you go about your day completely as if you would if this thing isn't on. 
Um, they do tell you do not shower or take a bath, uh, you know, while you have this thing on. Um, listen here. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bird, bird, bird bath, like, you know, around. But, uh, you know, people, I, nobody about to just walk around thinking like that. I mean, you know, if you're a clean person, you all right for 24 hours. But, you know, sometimes people just need to refresh themselves. So, you know, I think that's possible. But, um, you know, no, no in showers, like getting in the shower and no tub baths like that. So, um, I wasn't scared or anything once I got in there and finally sat down because I didn't know what they were going to do. And um, they just took the little tape and they put it on me just like they do the EKG and they put this on. And, uh, oh, well, I guess you guys would want to see the monitor, huh? I don't want y'all seeing my bra. Okay, it's a little monitor right here. Yeah, so he snapped it onto my bra. It doesn't have to sit there. It has a long cord. Uh, the cord is probably, like, the length of my arm. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's really not that um, you probably can put it on the bed and lay down. And that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm already laying down. But it's still snapped on to me. So, um... I don't know. I'm just trying to think what else I could tell somebody that might be in this situation that has never done this before. Because when the doctor will tell you they want to do this, you know, for you to check out your rhythmic beat throughout your entire day, uh, it can scare you. Because that's what I told her. She was like, well, we want to monitor you, monitor you for 24 hours. And I said, for what? Where I got to go? And how long I got to be there? And she's like, no, they're just going to give you um, a monitor. They're going to put it on you. It's just like an EKG. And then they're going to uh, let you go about your business. And then you have to bring it back within 24, you know, that on that 24th hour. Uh, so all is well. Um, I don't know what they're going to say after this i really don't know but whatever the outcome is i'm gonna be okay with it and be a brave little soldier and do everything that i have to do um the good thing about it is is that i'm already on track with my diet uh i do walk and i i stay active and i do a lot of moving around uh, you know, like I said, my diabetes is doing good. My sugar level is always between 92 and like 115, 116, especially this week. I got a new uh, app on my phone called uh, Blood Measurer or something it's called. And then I have um, a little app that I use for blood pressure where I could just take my thumb and sit it on there. And I was like, how accurate is this thing, right? So um, I, I used it, and then when I went to the doctor, it said the same thing. So I was like, wow, this thing worked. All I got to do is touch my screen, and it worked. Technology, boy, I see. So um, that's about it. If I left something out and you have questions like, what did the doctor say when I got there? Or, you know, things like that. Because, I mean, he really didn't. I think it's a nurse. He really didn't say too much, you know. He just gave you the do's and the don'ts. Don't do this and don't do that. But go throughout your, your day, you know, as according as you usually do. And um, that's about it. And, and luckily, well, I don't know luckily, but um, my doctor didn't schedule any other things past this. So I think she's waiting to see what this reading says to tell me uh, what we need to do maybe further past this. So that's it. It's almost nine minutes. Um, that's my little my little 24-hour EKG video for you guys. Peace out.